Hi friends, it's so good to have you here again. Thank you so much for always tuning in to my channel. I really appreciate you. Thank you for your love and your support. Thank you for watching my videos. I really uh, appreciate your time right here. And also don't forget, we're here to give you the best news, the most authentic and reliable news. So you have to stick to us and share with your friends and families. And right here we have something from Bornu State. Uh, and it says the governor of Bornu has suspended uh an entire hospital worker because of what they did yes we're yet to find out exactly what they did for a whole hospital uh, a whole government hospital uh, uh staffs all uh, get to be suspended because of what they did okay uh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button immediately and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified anytime we drop a new video. And also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Yes, we love your thumbs up. Okay, let us get to the details of the news as the um, Bornu governor suspend entire hospital workers. Yes, Bornu state governor, Professor Babanga Nazulum, has suspended the entire workers of a hospital in the state for abandonment of duty post. The governor who paid an unscheduled visit to the hospital, General Hospital in Ngala, a town with border with Cameroon Republic, discovered that the resident medical doctor, nurses, pharmacists, and lab technicians, all on the payroll of the government, were nowhere in sight. The governor was furious that the entire staff, despite receiving government salaries, abandoned the hospital to an international non-governmental organization, FHI 360, to manage the hundreds of patients, majority of them IDPs and residents of Ongala. Well, it's not in Nigeria where doctors uh, and nurses in uh, rural areas actually abandon uh, hospitals to do their own duties it is not a new thing and of course we know about all of that and I guess this is not good especially government workers they act like um, uh, they are being begged to work for the government so and, and that is really not good if the government is not doing fine the citizens should as well um, really make things work yes because it all starts from the people it is from the people to the government and it also flows down just like that okay let us continue and it says in gala which also has border with chad links nigeria by road with sudan and central africa republic having been liberated from boko haram's control in 2015 ngala is currently populated by thousands of returnees many of whom are internally displaced persons idps that were forced to flee their villages and farmlands in the wake of attacks by the terrorist group zulum who have taken to the style of paying surprise midnight and daytime visit to schools and hospitals showed up at the general hospital in ngala in order to find out the realities of healthcare deliveries to residents the governor was disappointed to find out that despite high turnout of patients not one of the many government paid staff from doctors down to clerical staff was at the hospital as at 11 a.m Zulum, who was, re who was received on arrival at the hospital by field coordinator of FHI 360, the INGO left in control of the hospital, was saddened by what he found on ground and immediately ordered the suspension of all staff of the payroll of Borno State Government. The governor said, this is general hospital belonging to Borno State Government. Unfortunately, there is no single state government staff here to attend to all these patients, and we promptly pay all of them salaries. These humanitarian workers from the INGO FHI 360 are supposed to complement the state government staff, but not to completely take over the hospital. I am directing the Borneo State Hospital Management Board, if there is any staff on the payroll of this hospital, to immediately suspend all the workers on the government payroll. I'll be back to this hospital hoping to see the opposite of what I saw today 
So that is what the uh, governor of Boronu State have said. He's actually very disappointed at what the uh, hospital um, uh, uh, staffs have actually done, that uh, they were not there even with the hundreds of patients at the hospital that needed treatment. He said as at 11 a.m., none of the staffs were available. This is poor and sad. It's uh, a, a, a work and pay thing. So it is, they're supposed to be at work as at when due 8 a.m. is 8 a.m. It doesn't matter what you're doing or what you have uh, uh, in store for yourself. You still have to do what you have to do. But that is it, guys. Please don't uh, endeavor to, please endeavor to drop your comments in the comment section. We're waiting to hear from you. Uh, is it, do you think that the government of Borneo State has done well to suspend the staffs? Or you feel the staff perhaps have uh, uh, something else that they all went to do that, uh, that perhaps the, 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 the governor might not be aware at that point do you think the excuses for what they've just done please drop it in the comment section we'll be waiting to hear we'll be waiting to read from you thank you so much for staying tuned i really do appreciate your time if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up thank you for staying tuned i really appreciate it do have a pleasant day bye